Hello viewers and welcome to this series on laboratory measurement in highway engineering. Aggregates used in the surface layer of the road pavements are subjected to wear due to vehicles moving over it. The friction between the moving tire and the road surface results in abrasion of aggregates. This effect is further enhanced due to presence of dust particles on road surface. Therefore, the aggregate should bear enough resistance against abrasion. This property is evaluated by abrasion value test. Various types of test can be used for determining abrasion value. These are Los Angeles abrasion value test, Devil abrasion test and Dory abrasion test. In this program, we shall determine Los Angeles abrasion value of aggregates. The apparatus required for this test as per IS 386 part 4 is Los Angeles abrasion machine. It has a hollow steel cylinder having an internal diameter of 70 centimeters and length 50 centimeters. In addition, we need abrasive charge that comprise of steel balls of diameters 48 millimeters and weighing between 390 to 445 grams. 12 such balls should be available for the test, their number is dependent on the type of grading used. We require a weighing machine, preferably an electronic balance of capacity 5 to 10 kg and accuracy 1 gram or better. An IS sieve of size 1.7 millimeters. The other sieve sizes depend on the grading selected. The aggregate used for the test comprise of a grading as specified in this table. The selection of grading is dependent on its designated use. For example, for WBM we shall select grading E, for use in SDBC grading B, C or D are selected. We shall be conducting the test using grading B. Therefore, we shall require IS sieves of size 20 millimeters, 12.5 millimeters, and 10 millimeters. A total of 2.5 kg of material passing 20 mm sieve and retained on 12.5 mm sieve is taken and also 2.5 kg of material passing 12.5 mm sieve and retained on 10 mm sieve 
is taken. First of all, dry the material in an oven maintained at 105 to 110 degrees centigrade for 4 hours. Now we shall test this material. Before starting ensure that the cylinder is clean from inside. Allow the machine to run at a speed of 30 to 33 revolutions per minute. Give 500 revolutions for grading A, B, C or D and 1000 revolutions for grading E, F or G. Since we are using grading B, we will subject the sample to 500 revolutions. During the movement, the aggregate are subject to abrasion by the steel ball. They also rub against each other which is known as attrition. The aggregates and the steel balls retained by the shell fall when they reach top thereby resulting in the impact. 
thus both the abrasion and impact occur during this test. Therefore, this test simulates field conditions better as compared to any other such test. After the test is complete, open the steel cover. As a counter check, also weigh fraction retained on C. Determine the Los Angeles abrasion value as weight of fraction passing 1.7 millimeter sieve as a percentage of total material taken, which in this case is found to be 25.8 percent. Repeat the test and report the mean of two samples as Los Angeles abrasion value. Indian Road Congress has specified 
limits of Los Angeles abrasion value for different types of road construction. The sample tested here has Los Angeles abrasion value of 26.6 percent which is found to be well within the limits. Therefore, we can conclude that this sample is suitable for construction in SDBC. In this program, we have seen as how Los Angeles abrasion value is determined. Due to its measurement of both resistance in abrasion and impact, this test remains to be most popular. We can conduct other tests on aggregates and found their suitability for use in road construction. Thank you and goodbye.